doing my, my Sunday morning clean. Um, so today is Sunday. I'm kind of easing into my Sunday. I don't want to do too much, but I do still have stuff to do. So I've already did my little morning me time. So today on the agenda, I want to do my finances because I think I think I told y'all that my um my contract is getting the rate is dropping. So y'all know I want I know how much I need to make. Um, I just want to see like what that money looks like on paper. So that's my main priority. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the grocery store because I might as well just get it out the way. I was gonna do it tomorrow, but I'll do it today. And then I want to go to the pool. Um, I had went yesterday. I don't know if I told y'all. I probably did. But I went yesterday. Um, and it felt good. So I'm going to make it again today. And then that's just really going to be my Sunday. Like I said, I don't want to be... I don't really feel like doing too much. And I'm going to plan on my week. Because Anna comes back. Anna was on vacation for the last week. So I want to plan out our week and touch base on, you know, and catch up on stuff. So... up i'm about to go to trader joe's um and then i'm gonna go to i think i'll go to grocery and target look at them every time i need help tonight can you work the way that you Sunday. Caleb, get this ice up. Me and him just came back from a walk. Um, I'm about to cook dinner today. I went grocery shopping. I didn't take my fruit out like I normally do just because I don't feel like it. Go drink some water. You over here gasping for air. Come on. Come drink your water. I put some ice in there. Come on. Come. Okay, well, live your life. Anyway. So I'm about to, I just need to plan out my week really quick. I feel accomplished today. I cleaned up, I did laundry, I made a reel, I posted a video. Um, by the time y'all see that, this, it'll already be out. Um, what else? I just need to plan. I did my finances. I had to do my finances because I'm doing a new contract. So I just needed to make sure I need to see numbers on paper to make sure I'm heading in the right direction. Um, because I don't know if they're gonna renew my contract and if they don't know the contract that's fine because i don't think i told y'all that i was quitting bedside by the summer me and anna had decided that um so this month we are about to go hard so hopefully we not hopefully so we can set up things in place so that we can start making like i know what we need to make each month in the business so that it can provide for us in our personal life um and also so we can keep reinvesting back into the business um, but I did that in my personal finances. I did choose finances. Kelly, can you go drink some water? Don't come in here huffing and puffing. Go drink some water. Child. Anyway, I did that. So now I just need to plan out my week. Um, I know what I want to focus on for this week. And that's, I need to do the influencer collaboration package thing for True Aesthetics. If any of y'all have 10K or more followers, um, 
on your Instagram, um, hit us up because we are doing a paid collaboration. Um, but make sure that your brand is cohesive with ours. Um, so I'm going to work on that this week. That is going to be my main project. And then also, um, for the blog, just edit every day or pick up the camera every day so that I have enough footage when it's time for me to edit this weekend. And that's pretty much it. I'm about to chill out for the rest of the week. I think I'm about to watch Snowfall. I've been re-watching, um, Shameless. I'm like on season four. I didn't know it was like 10 seasons, but, um. That's it. I'm doing all of nothing. Today was a slow Sunday. I enjoyed it, and I'm about to chill. Tomorrow, um, I'm going to get up, go to the gym, and I want to go edit somewhere else. I don't want to edit at the house. I don't have much to edit, though, but I wanted to go to, like, a coffee shop and just get some work done um, instead of staying at the house. So, anyway, I'm going to talk your head off. I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, good morning, y'all. Is it morning? Actually, it's 12 It's 1222, but um, I'm on my way to the spa really quick. Um, we were oh, my lashes are falling out. We were um what am I trying to say? So I'm on my the spot. We just got one appointment for like a lip flip, but this is a reschedule because she was like a no call, no show. That this is another thing I'm learning about business child. These people will play with your time and y'all know I'm a stickler for time. I'm not the one. <laughs> but per our policy, you are allowed one reschedule so she didn't exactly do a no show she basically at the time of her appointment said hey i'm not gonna be able to make it and i'm like girl you knew you weren't gonna be able to make it so once you do that prior cancel cancellation be like we charge you for the whole entire appointment because now we need our money up front since you're playing like that and then two you, you can reschedule only one time but if she was to do it today which is why i text her before i even came there because i'm like I'm not about to go up there for nothing because she literally the only person that I have to do and a lip flip takes all of five seconds so I text her and she said she was on her way which is cool but um if you if she would have did a no call no show again I would have blocked her because I don't have time and doing have time not block well yeah I guess I'll block her like she's not allowed to make any appointments with us so I'm gonna go up there I'm so tired I'm going to go up there and do her. I'm going to grab me something to eat because I picked up today. So, um, we were just slow. So, I was just like, I might as well go ahead and go in the hospital and make some money as well. Don't come out. Now, you know what. Let him know. Um, anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. After I leave the spa, though, I'm going to go ahead and grab something to eat because I don't have anything for work tonight. And probably just chill. Oh my god, chill until about 4 30. And then tomorrow we have a, a busier day. Plus, my friend is coming from out of town. So, child, I don't know how that's about to work. As a matter of fact, I need to make sure she's still coming. Um, and then go from there. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all. So, I made it to the shop. Um, typically, when I first get here, I just like to, I don't know how the heck this charges, but I usually turn on music and just look over our appointments for the day. Make sure that I've sent out everybody's, um, we do like a medical um, questionnaire just to go over all the history um, and then get set up. So I am about to do that now. Turn on our little sign. Um... Typically, I clean before I um, leave so that when I come in, all I got to do is set up, but like clean like the chair, the table and stuff. And I got that little sign, but our neighbor told us that we're not supposed to put that outside. <laughs> and I left it outside like all day in the rain, so some of it got um, washed off with my hand right in this trash. So I'll just wait for Anna to get back so she could mess with that thing but um i'm about to get set up for an appointment and i will talk to y'all in a few I figured I'd come in here and 
where I'm at, there are cutting rates everywhere. Like, this is, from what I'm hearing from travel nurses who have been doing this, like, this is a trend. Typically, during summertime, rates get lower, contracts get cut shorter or whatever. They start letting people go until around flu season, then things start to pick back up. So, my, the place that I've been at, I've been here for almost six months, I think. I, I just keep renewing my contract. And so, um, I knew that my rate was going to get cut lower than what it was. So, I was going from 87 That's what I was initially getting paid when I first started. No, I was initially getting paid $80. Then I found somebody. I'm always asking around, like, who making what. I found somebody who was getting paid $87. And I had my recruiter increase the rate. So, the next time I renew my contract, it stayed at the same thing, did it? No, it, that's when it went to 87. So the third time I renewed my contract, which is this time, um, basically it got cut to $66, which honestly is still not bad. It's not, you know, y'all know I know what I need to make in order for me to live the life that I want to live. And $66 is still not bad. And so I was cool with that because I was I was fine with that. Um, y'all know that I'm trying to run a business, so I'm not trying to just up and go. Like I'm straight, straight on money or whatever. So my recruiter called me back yesterday. Called me yesterday and she was like, I got bad news, and I'm like, what's up? I'm thinking I'm like, I got to get fired or I got in trouble or something like that. But she like, no, the rate is about to get cut. And I'm like, to what? Child, tell me why they say thirty seven dollars. I've never seen a, a travel contract that low. Um, that's basically what their staff nurses is making, probably minus a few dollars, like their night shift staff nurses. So, um, at first, like, I was, I wasn't tripping about it because it was just like, oh, I'm not taking $37. I'll just leave then. Um, I'll just give them my two weeks and dip because, honestly, um, I don't even think I really talk to y'all about the business, but me and Anna are, like, ready to go full time with the business. Like, we about to put our all into this. This is what we did travel for to stack our money invest it and then go hard on the business so a part of me was just it felt like it was just God applying pressure like y'all said y'all gonna be done with bedside by the summer let me speed up that process let's go because and a contract is over as well so um the part of me was just like uh, okay well you know now it's go time like now it's time for me to focus on my other incomes and to focus on my business so I wasn't tripping you know I got money saved up for the next four months to just kind of chill and do my thing like I'm not you know like it's a lot of nurses contrary to popular belief that have really not even stacked their money and here they cut like a lot of ICU nurses at the hospital room at and a lot of them was just like frantic like oh my god I need to find my next assignment like and I'm just thinking like what happened to all that money like what was y'all doing with it I was just like what was y'all I don't know anyway that's not my business but um the first part of me was just like oh okay cool like this it, it just means it's go time it just means it's time for us to really focus on our business put our faith and our trust in God and make it do what it do so then, I hope this is not, like, super loud. So then, um, wow, I look disgusting. Anyway, um, so then, oh, my window's at 32. Anyway, so then I, I got to talk to the other travel nurses, and just amongst ourselves, whatever, because we, like, cool, whatever, and I was telling them, like, what she had said, and they just, like, they basically on the same page. I'm all like, hell no, everybody work for 37 hours an hour. Like, nah, you want to be a staff nurse. Like, that don't even make sense. But I also want to buy a house, and I know that if I need to buy a house, I need to be able to provide proof of, you know, a steady income. So now I'm debating if I want to not necessarily work for $37. I already texted my recruiter, like, hey, I didn't ask around. Basically, like, nah, that's something was going on. I'm not taking $37. I'll leave today if that's the case. And I, re I text the manager just to kind of put in their ear. I just want to see what they're going to say. If they're going to, like, negotiate a better rate or something like that. Because from 66 to 37, that's crazy to me. Like, you might as well be, I literally might as well be a staff nurse. So, as I'm thinking, I'm just like, hmm, I don't know. Like, I feel like I need to stay on a contract if I'm looking to get a house. Because I know they're going to ask for proof of, like, current income. They're going to use my W-2 in there. I'm gonna ask for a proof of like my current income. So 
and I don't I don't want to use like my other businesses I just want to show them what I need to show them so I don't know I'm thinking like not thinking in the sense of like money wise but thinking in the sense of like getting a house I probably should have started getting a house like the process of getting a house soon as I moved down here honestly but I have so much other shit on my mind that I wasn't even thinking about that. But now that I am really contemplating buying another house, it's just like, shit, I actually need to be working somewhere. So, I don't know. Damn, is this a bump? Wow. Where did that come from? Ew. That bump was not there. Ew, it's gross. I'm going to pop that anyway. So, I'm going to go get my hair done. Um... They're like, and the crazy thing is, they're super short. Like they, the whole night shift is travelers. They have no poor staff on night shift. So the fact that they are, my quarter was telling me they exhausted their travel budget. But child, I don't know if that's the truth or not. You know, recruiters be trying to get over on you. She cool, but at the end of the day, she gotta make her money too. So I don't know. I prayed about it. We gonna see. A part of me is like. Um, whatever i'm gonna make it do what it do it's time to really focus on the business and a part of me is like well if you want to buy this house uh maybe you really should consider at least getting something so i don't know anyway i think it might hurt done. i'm chilling all day i'm gonna edit a video it's probably <coughs> out by the time that y'all see that this i'm just editing all day today i'm strictly working on youtube that's another thing if i do stop working because i feel like i'm burnt out even though this is the easy assignment just I just need a break. I haven't took breaks in between these extensions. I just work. And even though I work three shifts and it's easy, I don't know. I'm still burnt out. So I was just like, a part of me is like not really upset that um, I might get cut early. Because then it leaves room for me to really focus 100% on the business and also focus on YouTube so that I can be more consistent with it. So it frees up a lot of time. Because me just working, it just throws off everything. Me working night shift, me working in the hospital, period. It just really throws me off. What is that? I don't know. But I will check in with y'all later. Hey y'all. So this is the start of a vlog. I have committed. I'm back again. Because I took a little break because not life was crazy. I guess life was crazy but like in a good way. And so vlogging just kind of fell in the back burner. But y'all know I want to bring y'all along for the journey. So... <laughs> I know the vlogs have been like everywhere, but now I'm about to like try to get back on it and put out weekly vlogs because I don't want to leave y'all out of the loop. But things have been going well. I am, we got a lot to do today. I'm here early to get my lashes. I never get my lashes done early, like in the morning. I usually get them done late, but I'm gonna see if she'll let me. I'm pretty sure she will um, show y'all how she do my lashes or whatever. Um, because a few of y'all have asked, I don't even know what I get. I think I get like a 13 d curl child i don't know anyway i'll ask her after that we need to go get a oil change we need to go pick up some flyers i need to edit a vlog and put it out to y'all um and a few other things i just wanted to check in with y'all say hey y'all look at my skin my skin is looking really good i went ahead and put some so somebody asked did i get cheek fillers like no girl these are my natural cheekbones <laughs> but i did put some filler in between my smile lines we did it maybe a week ago and i'm trying to document the whole process because i've never had it before but it left like a oh y'all probably can't even really see it it left like a bruise right here um but i think it kind of filled it in when my face is regular so i was just trying to document that process um then i have to gear up for the month of may for the business our mother's day special making sure we got enough content and all that stuff so i just feel like i check in with y'all um i will see y'all in the last place in a few
y'all so i just finished my lashes i'm gonna show y'all like more in the car but they're done this is amber say hey hey come say hi to her uh i'll i'll uh, put her instagram in the thing um so y'all can come get y'all lashes done by her because she always a vibe always having a good time always enjoying myself so i'm about to go get an oil change because i was supposed to get it like a month ago don't be one of those girls who don't take care of your car and i will see y'all in a few all right y'all so we are here at fedex i'm about to pick some flyers up that i ordered um for the business some aftercare flyers i'm about to go pick them up really quick and then i'll come back and show them to y'all Y'all, I didn't order the wrong damn size. Let me show y'all. The flyer is cute, but baby, <laughs> this is this is supposed to be for like when people after they get their filler, um, and they go home, like aftercare instructions, just in case you like forget, just a little reminder. But y'all, these things is huge. <laughs> they were supposed to be take home size, and this is how like look at my hand. Like these things are huge. I don't even know what we about to do with all of these because I don't need this size child anyway well that was a waste <laughs> that was a waste i could have sworn it printed out as flyers oh maybe those are flyers i don't know anyway i'm about to go get something to eat um i'm supposed to be meeting my friend at this like um little um like louisiana style restaurant so i'm about to go home because i gotta pee so bad and then i'm gonna go ahead and meet him there and eat and then for the rest of the day i think i'm just editing not i think i'm going to edit i need to edit i need to edit i need to edit i need to get this video this week so after i eat i'm gonna probably go home take a nap and then for the rest of the day editing so i'll see y'all in a few so i want to put y'all up on game um now remember i don't think i told y'all the day before yesterday how they were trying to increase my rate to i don't even know if i gave y'all numbers but i'm gonna give y'all numbers so my original rate is 87 dollars right now currently i renewed this contract three times this will be my third time so it's coming up over renewal this weekend so my recorder basically told me your rate was gonna drop which i was completely fine with. My, my rate dropped to 66 dollars Y'all know I know what I need to make. So even if it drops to $66, I can still afford the life that I desire to live off of $66 an hour. So I was cool with it. That's typically from what I'm hearing from people who have been traveling for years that this is what happens. In the summertime, rates get lower and then they pick back up um, during flu season. So I, honestly, I wasn't tripping about it because y'all know I'm trying to run a business. So either way, you know, I was good. If they if they dropped me below something that I wasn't happy with, it was just like I was going to walk away and I was going to give all my time to the business. I was going to do the job full time. And then also, if they did give me what I wanted, which I was cool with, I would just continue to work because the contract was only for like, it's not a full contract, which is like, it's, it's cool. I'm cool with it. Girl, tell me why. I don't know if I told y'all, but they dropped the rate from 66 to $37. I'm not working for 37. Where am I at? I, am I on the right? Yeah, I'm on the right exit. I'm not working for $37. That's honestly what a staff nurse can make. I might as well just go that route. So, um, I spoke to my recruiter and just basically told her flat out, like, hey, I'm not, I'm not working that. Like, I'm just not going to work it. And if y'all gotta let me go, I'll put in my two weeks and I'll keep it moving. I also talked to my director and he was trying to hire me internally at a better rate. Told my recruiter, somehow, magically, oh, you can stay at your same rate. I say all this to say that when you are doing travel nursing, understand it is a business. And there were a lot of nurses who took that $37 rate and did not advocate for themselves. Don't be afraid to advocate for yourself. Don't be afraid to walk away because at the end of the day, you are there as an asset. They need you more than you need them. You can go anywhere and get a job. It just happens for me that this is more convenient because I'm trying to work on my business and I'm not trying to go out of state. I'm no good to my business if I'm out of state making money. I need to be here in order to take appointments and do stuff like that. So it just makes sense for me to stay here. The assignment is not hard. The people are cool. Like everybody is cool. I mean, you see like the director was trying to offer me a better rate just to keep me. But that just, like, I'm new to travel nursing, too. I'm learning as I go. 
the whoever is over my recruiter called me like this has never happened in seven years like basically they take it like a negative rate in order to basically pay me what i want to be paid but and i prayed about it y'all know i'm always pray about it and i said either way it go if they don't want to pay me or they're not like i'm good but this just goes to show you that this is a business the money is there they got it like they are not short of being able to pay people certain things i think it the the thing is that a lot of people just don't want to go through the back and forth and honestly i didn't go back and forth i told her no that's not what i'm taking she came back with a price that still wasn't what i wanted i told her no and then she said okay we'll give you what you want and a lot of it is just them trying to like see what you're willing to take and honestly if i would have went a little bit further and said no to the first contract like i want to keep my 87 dollars rate i don't know how that would have fared out but i feel like i probably would have got it if i would have put the energy into it but this is just me putting y'all up on game when y'all decide to do travel nursing don't let them lowball you don't let them play like they ain't got no money because it's thousands of agencies out here it's thousands of travelers out here and it's billions of dollars so they got it to spend but i just want to come on here and update y'all on that like my contract is staying the same and this one is only for a few weeks not a few weeks but it's not a full 13 week contract which i'm fine with as well um i just need to put certain things in place because i was thinking about getting me a house and stuff like that and i have to think in terms of like what the lender is gonna want and all that other stuff so anyway glory be to god because i literally prayed about it and i wasn't worried about it i wasn't worried about it at all it stressed me out just a tiny bit because i really don't like confrontation and i don't like going back and forth but a huge like 99% of me was just like uh I'm gonna say what I need to say I told them I'm not taking it if they don't accept it then that's what it is I like I didn't really stress myself out about it too much but everything worked in my favor so I'm happy about that that was definitely good news um but now I'm about to go home we just finished eating damn I didn't even show y'all the place it wasn't really nothing to show y'all the food was good uh it was like a 7 out of 10 it wasn't bad um but um what was I about to say I'm about to go home and take a nap and i really have to push myself to edit this video y'all <laughs> i don't know i want to edit it the problem is starting once i start i'm good so i guess i just keep that in mind let's just start the process but i'm about to go home take a nap and i'll probably see y'all tomorrow because i actually i think i'm going to pick up a shift tomorrow just because this is my last week making 87 dollars an hour so i'm just like i might as well i'm not doing something i'm not doing nothing but we do have appointments at the mass spot tomorrow and Anna's out of town so that means i would have to go ahead and do them so I, i'm also thinking about that too but working at the mass spot is not hard like I, I we've gotten so good with our technique and just getting people in and out in our systems that i can do somebody in like 30 45 minutes and keep it going it's not like it's stressful like in the beginning i used to be so nervous and just trying to figure like the systems for everything but now i can do it with my eyes closed i told y'all it's just like start being a brand new nurse again except in a different field but once you do it repetition is key this goes for like new nurses doing anything like the more you do it the more comfortable you get with it so now i'm just comfortable i can somebody come in and get some lip filler and i'm just like in and out like i know how to run the process forward and backward so i'm not really tripping about that plus i don't go to work till late so it's not like i don't have time to rest before i go to work so i might just pick up a shift but anyway i'll talk to y'all later good morning you guys don't mind me my skin would look really good today if i didn't have these two bumps trying to steal my shine but i'm on my period anyway i'm coming to say good morning um we are going to really try to be productive today um i'm on my way to well not on my way to i'm about to get my morning routine started but i am on my way after that i'll be on my way to the spa me and Anna are gonna meet and just catch up on some things like we have a few goals for the business and for ourselves. And so just trying to get on track with that, like make sure we're focused um, because May is upon us. And we're just trying to set ourselves up for success. So we're going to go there and be productive first part of the morning. And then the second half of the day, we have appointments. I think we have a filler appointment. Um a Botox appointment, and then I think it's a follow-up. 
so yeah that's our schedule today i'm about to get dressed well i'm about to go walk caleb eat my breakfast listen to a sermon and then i'll check in with y'all at the spa <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I'm over it, but hair, um, skim shirts. Like, I love the quality of her shirts. Um, Zara pants. I got this belt from probably Aldo or something like that. I'll see y'all there. Hey, y'all. So, uh, me and Anna just finished talking about going over stuff for the business, going over our um goals for this week y'all when i tell you we gotta have laser focus right now because what we trying to do requires a lot of discipline um i don't even think i shared this with y'all but we the plan is to quit bedside but it is hold on, let me turn this music off um but the plan is for us to quit bedside and that is going to require a lot of focus is going to require a lot of paying attention to details setting up a lot of systems in place um because i have a certain lifestyle to live and i do not want to work bedside for the rest of my life like that's not even an option y'all already know this was the exit plan um our med spa and so all that money wasn't for no reason like we definitely put that in we 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 went into travel nursing i don't think at the time we knew we was gonna get this far but like we went into it with a bigger goal in mind and that was to leave bedside and so um it's just gonna take a lot of discipline a lot of focus a lot of just creating structure so that we can be making the amount of money that we need to feel comfortable just focusing full time on the spot and so that's what we're really gearing up for um yeah so i just i i'm recording this because i always want to come back and look and see like where i was at like even just looking from me being in nursing school to now starting my own business like i've come pretty far but i know i have so much further to go and so that is the focus and um, we're about to get ready for our appointments today i don't think i'm doing nothing i'm probably gonna clean my house today or i'll probably oh i don't know we'll see we'll see but um i just wanted to check in and i will talk to you guys later all right y'all so we heading out it's like what's up with it dang it's five o'clock we've been here literally all day but we had a good day a really good day we got some stuff situated um got our clients out the way and i'm about to go see if i can find somebody to take me out because i think it's nice outside i actually haven't even been outside since i stepped foot in here but other than that i'm not really doing nothing for today i have to go to work for the next three days so I'll be doing that and that's pretty much it so I just wanted to check in with y'all I will see y'all later oh so good morning guys I'm literally just leaving work um and y'all I think I'm over bedside nursing a part of me feels very ungrateful because I still have a very good paying contract and I'm local. Like I don't, that book is so ugly. Um, I don't, it's not like I'm out of state. So I still get to come home and you know, just be in the comfort of my own home. But it's that part, like I'm still getting paid well. The assignment is not hard at all. When I tell you these, the acuity of these patients are just very low, like, I be chilling most nights, chilling. Like these be walkie talkie patients. I mean, like every once in a while, you will have somebody who like just constantly up or on a call, like or you know, somebody who might be going a little bit downhill, but nothing that you know I can't manage. Because mind you, on this floor, I only get three to four patients. So to me, that like that's manageable. 
us that's nothing but and then the staff is nice like we're all travelers literally that whole entire floor is like 90 percent travelers and so everybody cool a lot of people they didn't been there for like almost a year like everybody keep extending because it's just a good contract but i think i told y'all like they had dropped the rates at 37 dollars, which was crazy to me that some nurses some icu nurses were actually taking that because they said they couldn't find jobs and i'm like what do y'all mean y'all couldn't find a job like where was y'all looking at or maybe they was just very particular about where they work i don't know but i feel like that's just being a staff nurse like 37 dollars but then they didn't even fight for it come to find out i was the only one who said something about it like people were actually taking it and a part of me like not i felt bad but a part of me felt like oh you being a problem because you not taking what they're giving you but then another traveler was like no i'm so glad that you spoke up for yourself because they'll just give you what you're willing to take it's, and if you don't say nothing they they not gonna tell you it's more money available but anyway, that's what I was saying. Like, me being a tight of bed side. I don't know if I'm necessarily burnt out because, again, this is not a hard assignment. But can you get burnt out from just being in an environment, a certain type of environment too long? Because, honestly, y'all, I'm not even going to front you. Working in a hospital is kind of depressing. Like, you're dealing with sick people all the time. And, like, some people are, like, can be really just mean, even though you're taking care of them. Like, some people can be very, like, me like they think you like you, you they maids or something like it just makes it i don't know it just make it difficult for me to be there now like i don't i don't enjoy bedside nursing at all anymore like i don't think i ever truly enjoyed it like i i like learning about it i like learning about the different disease processes and I just, you know, it was the excitement of learning something new. But now, I don't, I don't enjoy it at all. And I just feel it. I feel it the moment that I come here. Like people are like, "Are you okay?" And I think even, and I got a mask on so people can see it in my face. But I really think that I am leaving sooner than I thought I would. Did I tell y'all we was going to speak with your bedside about summer? <laughs> yeah. So, had they not... Had they not accepted... Had I not accepted that rate and they just said, No, we're giving you $37. We're not budging. Um, I was going to leave anyway. Because I felt like it was God saying, like, Okay, it's time for you to work on your business full time. And I didn't... I honestly didn't think that they were going to. But I was. it was just kind of like a... Well, let me just see what they say. Like, I don't really have nothing to lose if they say no like i'm leaving anyway and if they say yeah then oh okay cool and they just happen to say yes and it was, it's only eight for eight more weeks but i just feel so bad i feel ungrateful because it's like i got it made this is not like this is some tough assignment where i act, i hate it and it's a lot of work and it's just too much it's not it's really a chill ass assignment and so i feel bad that i don't enjoy it but i just really don't enjoy bedside no more like it doesn't excite me like i'm not enticed by it like i don't i don't like i when i go to the man spa i love it like when the girls get out of their chair and they looking at their lips or they looking at whatever service we did to them and they like oh my god i love it i feel so good like i feel good about making the girls look better like enhancing their beauty or doing like the man spa just makes me be, like y'all can even see when i'm talking about it like i feel good like when i'm going and i'm running i don't feel like it's work i don't feel like i'd I be tired but the tired that i experienced from the med spa and the tired that i feel from working this contract is it's two completely different tires like if i have to go to if i had to go to an appointment right now i would be tired but when i get there it wouldn't my mood wouldn't be like oh i want to be here i'm dreading it like i snap right into it and that's another thing working night shift y'all even though i love it in the terms of like being able to work at your own pace and if you get you know um overloaded with with whatever or get um well i can't even want to talk i don't talk i'm so tired um but if you kind of just like fall back because 
school. I don't know. Maybe you're patiently down here or something. Like, it's always time to catch up your night shift. I love that it's not um, a lot of family. You don't barely see no doctors unless something's going on. You don't have a lot of orders going on. You're not doing what discharge. It's like so many perks to work in night shifts, especially if you don't want a hard assignment. But when I tell you night shift is not good for your body, I read an article that said that, you, that people who work night shift got 10 years earlier than a lot of people. And so it's just not good on your body. I don't care how, like, if you type of person, like, even if you have a, some insomnia and you just regularly stay up, your, your, your natural circadian rhythm is not meant to function off a night shift. And it's really messing with my body. Like, I can feel it. Like, that's why I be so tired. And then because they, he, lately, he, the manager, he just been doing the schedule any type of way. Like, he had me working uh two days on one day off three days on one day off and i'm just like bro like you need to have some type of consistency here like do my do my stuff in black schedule because it i'm already messed up because i work a night shift and then you want to like split it up like nah we gotta figure something out so i'm actually counting like a part of me i'm counting down because i only have seven more weeks i just this is my i renew i've renewed the contract like three or four i think this is my third or fourth time renewing it because it's just so easy but it's just like i knew that bedside nursing was not that was like a stepping stone like that was i didn't it, initially i didn't know what i wanted to do but i knew very early on that i could not do bedside for 30 years there's no possible way i do not see how nurses be nurses at bedside for 20 30 there is no way but then a lot of nurses who have been doing it that long say that nursing is different now like it's not how it used to be back in the day when they first started but still there is no way no way like in nursing school i knew that i was not gonna do bedside for the rest of my life it wasn't until last year when we were like when i was really like nah nah after my first travel contact i was really like nah even with the money i don't know what i'm gonna do to make this same amount of money but i cannot stay um a bedside nurse i can't even stay a travel nurse with the money like it's it's still to me not even worth it like i don't even i i feel so bad because there's so much money i'm missing out on because i don't be picking up shifts if they call me to come in i'm the, the answer is automatic no like I don't even want to come in and pick up some easy money and that's how I know like I'm over it but I just don't know if I'm burnt out like I feel bad about it but like that's just me being honest like I'm just not this is just not my thing it's just, it's just not for me I'm just I'm good like I love working in a med spa I love I love it like this nah I could work in a med spa all day well, I could do 12 hours there, do clients back to back to back to back, and don't feel like I feel once I leave the hospital. When I leave the hospital, like, I'm running. I am literally running to my car because I be ready to get out there. I don't try to stay over, chat, kiki with nobody. I'm giving a report. I'm done. I'll see y'all later. Like, that is it. Don't ask me about work. None of that. Like, I just don't want to talk, to, talk about it, but... I don't know. A part of me is still scared, though, because the travel nursing is, I mean, it's, it's stable depending on the, way, on the way you look at it because they can't cut your contract whenever um, they can lower your rate whenever. But it's still always going to be jobs out here. Like, if you're willing to travel, hence the name, like, you'll have a job. But stepping out on faith and believing that we are going to have a seven figure business that takes a lot of faith and it's it's scary like it it scares me because you know i didn't i didn't grow up in the my parents didn't grow up in an era where entrepreneurship was like a thing like it's like you go to school you get a job you work for that place for 30 years and you retire not you bet on yourself and you take a risk and see if something gonna work out or not like I didn't grow up with that mindset and so to see myself stepping into that it's scary i'm not even gonna lie i'm like i'm like terrified but they say like if your dreams don't scare you i say am i making this up but if your dreams don't scare you you know, they're not big enough but i am i'm terrified because that, that if we don't work we don't eat literally if we do not wake up in the morning and post and market ourselves and put in the work we don't have no clients, period. So it's like, it's easier. I'm not even going to front you. It's easier for me to go do our 
it's like we do everything we do everything and what we don't get done or what we can't outsource like that all falls on us literally every single time and then y'all gotta remember this business has to be able to supplement two incomes and y'all know I like to live a certain way so when I say we gotta have a seven figure business literally in order for me to maintain the lifestyle that I want to maintain that's a lot of pressure but I don't know. It is what it is. I just I just feel like coming on and sharing that because I was at work. I was texting Anna today at work like, dog, like it's tears in my eyes because I literally don't want to be here. Like I'm really sad that I am at work. Like I'm really like I told her like when they when they try to sue me if I left and she come on, bro, you already know the answer to that. But just the fact that I'm trying to think of a reason to go home because I just don't enjoy working bedside no more. I see it coming to an end very, very soon. Very soon. Like, my eight weeks, once my eight weeks is up, I just keep praying and I keep, like, I keep saying things as if they are. Like, we about to really be going full time on our men's spot. And it's possible. It's definitely possible. But I've never done it before. I've never done anything like this before. This is new for me. I've never opened up a legit business, a medical spa like I have never did that before so a part of me is just like what's it on like there's that there's that this one somebody on the side of me saying like bro you got this you gonna do it like this is this is gonna be successful like you gonna look back on this and be like damn like look how far you come like look where y'all are and then there's this side of me saying like you don't want to take that risk that's a huge risk you gonna really bet on yourself like that it is the other part of me to say like hell yeah i'm gonna bet on myself what are you talking about like you know the god that i serve like do not think that he is not capable of doing it like come on i don't know what y'all but anyway i figured i shared that with y'all i'm gonna take my butt home go to sleep and then i gotta come back tonight and do it all over again the next two nights the way he got my schedule was so stupid i think i worked three in a row and then i'm off for like one day and then I'm back for two. I don't actually want to fight him for that. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, why would you do this on my schedule? Like, why? Like, why would you do that? Like, anyway, I'll talk to you later.